All right. And we back with another episode of, hey, I'm just asking. And today, we're going to talk about, is DC the devil's court? Or does DC stand for devil's court? Hey, I'm just asking. Now, D.C., Chocolate City, Dodge City. But have you ever heard it called Devil's Court? I don't think so. But we're going to start here with D.C. Man, the land of the politics. You got the president here. You got... Crooked politicians, senators, governors, all of them come here or go through here to establish laws, right? But let me give you the history on D.C., man. Why we call it Devil's Court. D.C. is known for the hustlers. D.C. is known for the stick up kids. And DC is known for murder, murder, murder. They don't talk about the murder rate, but DC is one of the most dangerous places to live in America. But DC didn't always start out like that way. DC was known for hustling. I forgot one, pimping. Right? So D.C., that was a place, man, you could get your money. Everybody, it was real niggas back then. Real niggas. Everybody was a hundred. If they wasn't a hundred, man, you could see a 50-50 nigga from a mile away. So D.C. was a nice place to be if you could do, if you could hustle, if you was a stick-up boy. If you was a pimp, the murders didn't come first. The murders didn't come. The murders came after this. D.C. was thriving in the drug economy, right? So with that happening, that brought Jamaicans, that brought New Yorkers came to D.C., and it also brought the Crips and Bloods. They lasted for about <laughs> an hour. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but hey, as soon as the Crips and Bloods came here, they was out of there. D.C. don't rock like that. It's more neighborhoods. We don't have gangs here. We have neighborhoods. So anyway, D.C., the New Yorkers came and the Jamaicans came. And that changed D.C. forever. And why I say that? Because D.C. was also known for this. The boxing. D.C., we were fighters. So, it wasn't really no killing. You know, you might get a one-on-one -on -one, or we are known for this too. Jumping. Like we're going to beat you. We're going to outnumber you and beat you. Hey, it's a dirty game, but that's how DC was playing. Especially in those go-go's. And that's where most DC guys learn how to fight. Or it's a different type of fighting on the streets than it is in the go-go. In the go-go, it's a little easier to fight because it's tight. You know, so you might meet somebody that can fight. He can't fight on the streets, but get him in the go-go, man. He the number one. He the knockout king. So we had to deal with that. So, and it was mostly hoods on hoods. So when New Yorkers and Jamaicans came, at first, you know, they was the plugs. They was the plugs. So, 
At some point, they started trying to rule. They started trying to rule. But it was already the big, it was already the head honcho here that was Rayful. Mike Frey, some of the legends, those guys, right? So once New York came in, they came in with the guns. Now, DC had guns, but man, when I grew up, it was like, um, it might be one dude on the block with a gun. Because like I told you, it was more fighting. Now, we might use weapons, sticks and stones, knives, but for the most part, we wasn't on guns yet. Not to say it wasn't murders here, but the murder rate was nowhere near what it is to this day. So, with the murder rate, with the New Yorkers coming and the Jamaicans coming, trying to take over territory, that started D.C. to get guns because we had guns, but our guns wasn't better than the New Yorkers and the Jamaicans. They opened our eyes. Actually, I give them the credit for making D.C. killers. We always been grimy, but I think when New York came and the Jamaicans came, it just took D.C. to a whole nother level with the murder game. Then with Rafael Edmond getting busted, look, Al Poe getting busted, Man, it was many of people on this list that I will not name because they never talk about the Southeast ones, but that's another blog. But anyway, um, like once that full swoop came through, D.C. was already the murder rate was we was already the murder capital. But man, when that sweep came through, then it was free for all. Anybody could be the king. So, man, the murder rate skyrocketed. And once the murder rate skyrocketed, man, everything, the crime rate boosted. Not with only just murder, with the drugs, man, with the pimping. They don't even talk about the pimping. But man, D.C. was once a pimp town. So, wow. That goes on. So the murder game just steps up a total different notch. So now, D.C. went to being everybody was 100 or you knew who the fake dudes was. To now, D.C. was cutthroat city. And the politics was every man for himself. Sort of like 1800 Pennsylvania Avenue. But they do it as a, a conglomerate and call it government. So that's where the D.C., that's where that devil's court all started. You go to court, you're a black man, you're going down. I don't care if it's for three rocks. Could get you three years. You could get a year for every rock. Man, the gun laws here is treacherous. Probably um only one might be equal, maybe New York. But the gun laws here, we had no self-defense law. No self-defense law. The politics. The devil don't even want you to protect yourself, right? So, man, this has been a notorious place to be, to be a black man dealing with the court system, right? Dealing with the court system, then they'll drag you through the system. They'll drag you through the system. So, Devil's Court, man, changed the game. Police got dirty. I mean, the politics just was bad here. Filthy, crooked. Man, you could trust no one here. The industry never trusted us because we've backdoor and snaked so many people in the industry. Devil's Court. Man, so as we go on and on in time, DC 
started to rise in fame as far as the murder game or if you want to make some money, man, you better go make money with D.C. Them D.C. boys get it in. So that was all fine and dandy. But man, it just went, it just went all downhill. Reagan came in, man, messed the whole city up. Then you had Bush. Then you had the other Bush. And it just kept getting worse by the moment. They say Bill Clinton was a good president. Ah, he was terrible. He uh he bamboozled the city because they just felt like, you know, they used to call him black. Our first black uh president, they were saying was Bill Clinton. Well, they don't know the laws that Bill Clinton put out there, man, put so many black people in jail, probably more than any of those other presidents that y'all hate or love. Bill Clinton did us a disservice. Devil's court. So, man, the politics started getting real shaky. And the politics on the street was even worse. So after all the murders, all the killings, all the crooked cops, all the crooked politicians, man, hence the name Devil's Court. And what's so sad about it, for my people, black people, let me tell you something. When I grew up back in the day, you seen that would just happen at the Capitol? That would have never happened in the 80s. I don't care, black, white, Spanish. Man, they would have murked the whole scene. It would have been, it would have been on the news, but it would have been a different outcome. It would have been bloodshed. If those would have been black people down there, it would have been bloodshed. So this, I say that to say this. If this is supposed to be the most, one of the most safest cities in America when it comes to military presence, when it comes to all those alphabets, FBI, CIA, ATF, but you could storm the Capitol? Watch your government. Watch your government. Devil's Court, man, the judge is in the back pocket. Man, D.C. is terrible. D.C. is terrible, and they don't even talk about it. Only thing they talk about with uh, D.C., Cherry Blossom Parade. <laughs> you would never know, <clears throat> excuse me, you would never know D.C. is a tough town. From how we're portrayed in the media. But DC is definitely devil's court. And this is part one. Because I'm freestyling. I didn't get my notes together. But I'm going to keep touching this topic about devil's court. DC. Hey. Tell me what y'all think about this video. Share this video. Like this video. Comment on this video and subscribe. Hey, I'm just asking.